Hey guys, welcome back to Home Built. And I know I've been talking about it for weeks, but this week I am finally going to be welding some panels back onto the Alferrari. So those of you who have been following along will have seen that I've been working for several weeks now trying to get uh, all the new panels lined up, get everything all nice and square and straight and repaired under the surface of this car. But this week I'm finally going to get around to starting to weld some bits back on, starting with these lower sill panels. So first things first is I need to uh, get, them, get the sill panels out and start punching in some holes where I can plug weld them back onto the shell. I love this thing. This thing makes life so much easier, but punching all these holes, I mean, ultimately a spot welder would be better than uh, having to plug weld all of these, but this still makes it so much easier than drilling out all of these holes by hand. I could do it with a drill press, but um, I found with a drill press, you end up, uh, because this is a sort of reasonably thin sheet, you, you get sort of divots everywhere where, you, where you, the, the drill sort of push holes in it, whereas this holds it nice and flat and just goes a nice simple flat punch and it's uh, it's neat and tidy and super quick. So uh, I did both of these with, I don't know, at least probably close to a couple of hundred holes uh, in 10 minutes. So yeah, really quick and easy. So now I'm going to sit on here. I'm going to go around some of the places where I didn't mask up last week and I've got primer underneath. I'm going to go through and, uh, and mark them with a the texture now so I can just... Uh, Pick those particular ones out, grind them, uh, grind back those areas so it'll weld and uh, give it a bit of weld through primer under there, just to make sure that I get a uh, uh, a nice penetration on every one of my welds, and uh, and then maybe we might actually be able to start welding them on. Yay! All right, it's been a long time coming, but it is finally time to start welding these parts on. I've got, uh, I've gone through, I've uh, cleaned the paint off all of the edges where I'm gonna be welding. There's weld through primer and all the other bits on the underside. Uh, everything's painted inside and out, ready to go. It's all lined up, I hope, in the exact right spot it needs to be. Um, I spent so much time, it would really suck if I had to cut this off again, but... Um, <sighs> Let's do it. I'm going to go through, I'm going to clamp all my way along so that uh, I keep everything nice and tight and sort of, uh, and this whole thing is going to be MIG together. Um, I'm not, uh, I'm not going to use the TIG, the TIG's much slower for the plug welds and, and the MIG is, is perfectly good for this. So um, MIG it is. Let's go. And there we have it. We have it all welded on. Now these ends where you actually will see it eventually, I'm going to go through and tidy them up with a TIG later uh, and uh, weld them in completely. Same with down this end, but it's all, uh, it's all there. I gave it a coat of weld through primer just to protect it for now. And um, these things, I could tidy these plug welds up more and grind them back further, but it's going to be covered with, uh, with this plate uh, at a later date. 
so you're never going to see it. But also, if somebody eventually wants to uh, cut this back off again, you'll be able to see where the plug welds are, so they'll be able to drill it out. Just make it easier for the next person. Hopefully it won't rust for a very, very, very long time, but uh, long after I'm gone, this may be restored again, and uh, we'll uh, have it ready for them. I've also gone through and I've stitch welded along the top edge, just so that it will be nice and secure. So um, that's one side done. Okay, so that side's done. So now it's time to start doing the exact same thing again over here. Um, I will screw it on, mark them out, grind everything back, and then start welding on again. And uh, fingers crossed we get this whole thing wrapped up today. Okay, so the sides are done, so that means it's time to move on to the rear here and start getting ready to put the boot floor in. That means I need to start fitting these panels up, which I made up for these uh, uh, sides, the support panels for either side of the boot floor. So um, let's start getting these punched out and ready to start welding in. Okay, so I just went around then. I just did a final straighten on this uh, this bottom edge here, just trying to get it as level and flat as possible because now is the time to do it because in a minute I'm gonna weld it all up and I'm not gonna have access to it. Uh, there was also a little split in here. I just uh, welded up and uh, basically the uh, these wings are on. Everything is uh, pretty much looking good and ready to go. So it's time to just give the bits that I'm gonna cover up a hit of the weld through primer and then go through and punch out the holes on the boot floor. This thing is fantastic, by the way. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description, but uh, just oh, save so much time. I love it. All right, let's keep moving. Okay, so it's all screwed in and lined up for the final time. So now it is time to actually start welding in my boot floor. And fingers crossed I've got it right. And there we go, we are welded in. I've just got to undo the, uh, there's still the screws that are in here, so I'm gonna have to undo them and weld it up. But you can see here where I've uh, welded in underneath, you can see the penetration coming through. So there's good penetration there. The spot welds are uh, uh, biting into what they need to, or the uh, plug welds, I should say. So uh, now it's time to pull the screws out and finish welding it up.
that is all welded in now. It's all nice and solid. So now it's time to go through and uh, do my final fit up of the external pieces. I just want to bolt them all on again, just to make sure everything still lines up before I go too far and weld up the rest of it. So let's start putting some of these panels back on. Well, it was definitely worth putting these back on again because uh, there was a little bit of trimming I needed to do around where I put my pillars back on. So because I've added more metal there than there was before, so it didn't all line up the way it did before, which was good before I get it all back on the car for the last time. So um, I am quite happy with the progress today. We've got some panels on the car, finally, finally. But I am out of time, which means it's time for Fun Facts with Mrs. Jeff. Hey guys, based on the Alphas Giulietta, the first prototype of a new sports model was presented at the 1957 Turin Motor Show. The Giulietta Sprint Speciale, or Giulietta SS, was a super sleek, futuristic design. It finally went into production in 1959, with the first 101 cars being produced in the low nose 750 SS spec, in order to meet the homologation regulations for the FIA. Some of these early cars were all aluminium, but most were steel shells with the doors, the bonnets and the boot in aluminium. Now, amazingly, these cars had a drag coefficient of 0.28, which would not be surpassed for another 20 years. They were powered by Alpha's 1.3 litre double overhead cam four cylinder engine, making 100 horsepower. In 1963, this engine was replaced with 1.6 litre 112 horsepower engine from the Julia. With the bigger engine came the bigger name of Giulia Sprint Speciale, as Giulietta implied small. And between 1959 and 1966, 1,366 Giuliettas were produced and 1,400 Giulia SSs. All right, we are actually getting there. I'm actually welding things back together. The car is actually going back together, finally. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's little steps, but it's little steps in the right direction. I hope you're enjoying the gentle sound of Jeff welding. <laughs> <laughs> Merchandise, if you're looking for a Christmas present. Yes, home built by Jeff Merch. Uh, Excellent, and if you'd like to see the show a day earlier, please follow us on Patreon. Um, Link is in the description. And uh, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I particularly uh, put some little uh, sort of hints and things along the way as what I'm co doing coming up. So, um, all right, guys, until next <laughs> see time. You. See ya. Or the Julia S. <laughs> I like that you're not even bothering to watch because you know it's going to take me about 20 guys to get this. Yeah. What's wrong with me? In the low nose spec, in the low nose 750 SS spec. Yes. Yes. <laughs>